that's me. What's up, Brandon Talbot here. Recently, I decided to assess where I was at physically. I like to do this once in a while, but I also have a birthday coming up, and honestly, I just haven't been feeling too superhuman lately. So I grabbed my little sculpt chisel and I took a bunch of measurements. And this little machine measures your body fat very quickly and it also gives you a measurement on muscle quality. And after you know suffering a few major injuries and having a few too many waffles, my muscle quality had gone down and my body fat went up. Initially I was pretty bummed with the results. I definitely feel like I could do, be doing a lot better. Honestly, like I started to think about where I used to be physically and what I was capable of just a few years ago. And that really started to like bum me out. And uh, I felt honestly kind of pathetic. If I can backtrack a little bit, um, maybe a week before I did this, I ended up doing Melissa's podcast, Do The Thing is what it's called. I don't know if I have to air quotes that or not, I don't know. But anyway, Melissa does a podcast called Do The Thing and it was about my experience with depression and suicidal thoughts. And one of the roughest times in my life was after I injured my back because I went from being like a really athletic volleyball player, uh, just loving what I was doing, got hurt, and uh, I couldn't do any of that. And my sense of self and identity just collapsed. And I became very, very depressed. And she asked me, what was the thing or things that kind of helped you, you know, get past that? And I thought really long and hard. And there wasn't too many specifics. But one of the specifics was that Tony Robbins in a video, I can't remember if he issued it to a few people or a bunch of people. I do this process, it's 10 minutes, I put some music on, and then I do this three-step process. First, I do three minutes of gratitude, where I think of three things I'm really grateful for, and I associate, I don't think of it over there, I feel it. Each one of these is a journal that I have filled uh, that's uh, all gratitude. Couple different kinds, Panda Planner, Best Self. My favorite one being the one with the Hulk on it, of course. And I think this was my first one. Um, but you know, if I look back at all the most prosperous times of my life in that period since I started doing this, you can absolutely see a direct correlation between my prosperity and how consistent I was with gratitude. So the happiest, most prosperous times of my life in the last four years have been directly linked to times that I was the most consistent and the most sincere about daily gratitude practice. So here I am thinking uh, about me with a higher than average body fat for me, higher body fat than I normally have, my muscle quality going down. And I was really bummed initially and then thinking about this gratitude challenge, I started thinking about how well I'm doing uh, honestly and all the, all the physical blessings that I have. And I just really started to become very like grateful for where I was at. You know, so that's what I'm going to issue you guys is a 30 day gratitude challenge. Every day I'm gonna post up on my Instagram story three things that I'm grateful for and I would love for you guys to follow along. I'm gonna make a little template. You can screenshot that, uh, then you can fill out your three things, post it up if you want. You can tag me and I'll repost it just to say thanks if you would like, but we're gonna do this for 30 days. And I'm also gonna do like a physical challenge because I do wanna improve myself. I think the best way I can show gratitude to the universe, God, the maker, whoever you believe in, you don't even have to believe in, but for me to be really grateful, me to really appreciate where I'm at or appreciate what I have is to do even better uh, with what I'm given. But, and you, you could do that if you want to, I'm not gonna dictate to you what to, dictate to you what to do, but let's do a 30 day gratitude challenge. I can't tell you how much this has really changed my life 
getting up every morning before the Instagram, before the emails, before work, and writing three things down that I'm really grateful for. It's gonna start here in a few days, so be ready for that. I'll post it up on my Instagram story. That's it. Love you guys. Catch you on the next one. Peace.